In this video, we will show you how to create a hip roof on a T-shaped room. The techniques shown in this video can be used to make many other complex shapes. We will start with an already created T-shaped room that was created using the polygonal room command. The flat ceiling of the room is at 10 feet. We will replace the flat ceiling with a new hip ceiling with a peak height of 16 feet. Select the Explode command from the Modify tab. Then left click to select the room and right click to explode the room into its component surfaces. Next, select Erase or use hotkey E. Then pick the ceiling surface by left clicking its edge. Right click to remove the ceiling. You can confirm it's removed by changing the display mode to shaded. Now we're going to add construction lines to guide the creation of the hip roof. To help with our drawing, Turn on Endpoint and Midpoint Object Snap. Select the Line command, then select the midpoint of the top of the wall as your base point. Then using relative coordinates, type in at 0, 0, 6 to add a vertex 6 feet above the base point. Right click to end the line command. Select Copy or Hotkey C, then left click the line. Right click to complete selection and then left click the bottom of the line to use as a base point. Now left click at the midpoint of each wall segment to paste the line. To copy the construction lines across to the long wall, select the copy command again. Select the line segment and right click to complete selection. This time select the wall corner point as your baseline and the opposite corner as your destination. Repeat for the other side. To get the location of the hip, we connect the tops of the construction lines with the horizontal line. Now the hip is located at the midpoint of each horizontal line. To create the ceiling surfaces, select the polygonal surface command. In the dynamic properties, change the reflectance to 80%. Starting on an end slope, select the three corner points by left clicking and then right click to close the shape. You can right click again to start over the last command. Now select the four corner points of the next slope. Each surface must be planar, so you will need to create a new surface for each slope of the roof. You can change the display mode to verify that all surfaces have been added. Using construction lines to set up snap points is a powerful modeling technique that will allow you to build most complex shapes within Visual.